Today I took a bus from Boon Lay Interchange, bus 172, and I travel all the way to Old Choa Chu Kang Road. I'm now at a Chinese cemetery near track number 14. Track 14 of Old Choa Chu Kang Road. And here I can see a very beautiful tree with red scarlet flowers. This is the African tulip. Track number 14, Old Chao Chukang Road. This is a very quiet place. And on my right, I could see a Chinese cemetery. Right on my left is the KCE Investment Private Limited. So this is a small factory here. Right at the... On my right side, I could see the Chinese cemetery. See some beautiful flowers here. The morning glory. Some pigeons feeding around here. And the caution says you are within a closed cemetery, enter at your own risk. Right? So this cemetery has been closed. So you come here at your own risk. A lot of trees around here, tall trees. Now the first grave I came to, all the words are in Chinese. Ming Ye Zhao Fen 1991 to 1932. Uh, the descendants must have come here recently to put some flowers. I could hear the birds chirping on the trees. Very quiet at this time of the morning. It's a Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m. and the place is very quiet. A lot of old tombstones. Some are quite broken. A lot of rubbish thrown here. A very interesting place. And some of the wording already has faded. <coughs> This one is an old couple, old man and old lady, buried here. Now some of the tombstones are already broken. It was neglected for many, many years. So nobody came to repair the tomb. So obviously this must be a, a very old cemetery. All the words are written in Chinese. You see all the broken cement here. Very old tombstones. Sun Chen. So this one is quite well kept. Somebody came to burn some candles here. So the descendants came here to pray to their mother or grandmother. This is the 
Shen, where the tomb caretaker used to live, a bicycle hanging on a tree. So this is quite a big cemetery. At least the size of five football fields. are already broken not much is left here in a very sad state of repair so the house there is where the caretaker used to live so I continue my walk into the cemetery it's very quiet at this time of the day Sunday morning 9 a.m. is very quiet. There's the tree over there with the green fruit. Morning does it tree foliage. It's rather new, it looks quite new. Picture of an old lady. And for most Chinese tombs, you uh, notice that there are always two stone lions guarding the, the tomb. Two stone lions. So this is a very interesting place. You can see some the tree with the light green fruits. Morinda citri folia. And here again you can see two stone lions. So somebody has come to put some candles here to pray to the deceased. So it's a very big cemetery stretches for miles and miles around and some of the tombs are renovated Somebody has come to renovate the tomb, so it looks quite new with all the words repainted. You notice here some very tall trees. These trees must be at least a hundred years old. <coughs> the other thing about the Chinese cemetery is that is always on a hill slope so the Chinese would choose a hilly place preferably on top of a mountain or a hill to bury the dead because they say the feng shui here is very good so even the dead who is buried here is able to look into the valley down below so it commands a very good view so they say the feng shui here is very good Here I could see some vegetables. So the caretaker of the cemetery has grown some vegetables here. Very interesting. And here's a hut over here where you could rest. So his hut is just next to the cemetery. Very interesting place. And he has plant planted some long beans, ladies' finger, chilies. A lot of very wonderful trees and fruits here you can see a papaya tree so the caretaker lives around here he's planted a lot of vegetables even a sour salt tree right, you can see some spring onion 
very interesting place. So the caretaker, because this is a private cemetery, no longer in use, he has built his house here and he has planted a lot of vegetables. You can see all the very beautiful vegetables here. Yellow flowers, the gourd, all this could be eaten. Very nice vegetable garden. And next to the tomb, he planted some lady's finger. Right, this lady's finger are going very well in the middle of a cemetery so it says here Yongchun very nice cemetery here now the caretaker has taken the trouble to plant some vegetables lady's finger and at the base of the tree he has put a shrine there so more vegetables here and there under the big tree he has put a shrine some oranges candles so possibly he used that as his place of worship of this cemetery here, very interesting place. I could see some vegetables, passion fruit, and all around me are the old tombstones. Here. The cemetery caretaker has taken the trouble to plant all this. A lot of passion fruits, beautiful passion fruits here, you can see. And all these will soon be harvested. Right, another tomb of a young man, Ichiu Wu Liu Nian. You see some chili plants here, some yam plants, a taro, then a fish pond over there. Very interesting place. We have a vegetable garden in the middle of a cemetery. I was told that this is a private cemetery. And so far, the land has not been touched, so there's no development over here. Now you can see the green jaw, beautiful purple green jaw over there. You can see some vegetables over here. Sweet potatoes. Very beautiful. Right, and over here you can see the wing beans. The wing beans, all this can be eaten. And the wing beans with the white flower. Very beautiful. A lot of wing beans. But there are many mosquitoes here. A lot of mosquitoes. So another tomb over here. Ying Kui Fo Kuo Jie Ying Si Fang The Chinese tombs are very beautiful. They put a photograph of Chinese words and then some nice pictures over here. And this of course is the Chai Xin. I can see the footprints of the dogs. Place. 
and you can see that the cemetery stretches for miles and miles right from the outside it looks a bit small but once you come in it's very huge this one shows an old couple the photograph of an old man old lady Fu Lu So Yin Kui Fu Guo Jie Yin Si Fang A lot of pictures here This is typical of a Chinese cemetery And here I can see some beautiful red flowers beautiful tombs here when I look at all this it's a reminder to me that life is very short we are here on earth for maybe 60 70 80 years our life is over and we return back to dust the soul goes to heaven the body returns to the dust so life is very short so my advice is do all the good you can while you're still alive so that when you leave this world, only your fond memories will be left behind. Alright. This is where most people will end up after their life. Right in a cemetery, whether it's a Christian cemetery, Buddhist cemetery or Muslim cemetery, all life will come to an end. And since Singapore is so short of land, I believe maybe in 50, 100 years time, all these tombstones will be removed, the land will be used for the living and not the dead. So that is the future, right? Because there's so little land in Singapore, so the cemeteries will have to be assumed. And the give way is quite big. Living. Right? It's almost the size of a two-room flat. So the couple buried here must be quite well off, they could afford this big piece of land the size of a two-room flat. Now the other thing to note is that the Chinese graves are usually circular in shape. Right? Usually on the hillside circular in shape. And then the pictures of the deceased husband and wife together. And usually they put the names of the sons and daughters. Right? On the right side, Xiao Nan, the names of the sons. Nan Sun on the left so they always list the names of their children grandchildren on the tombstone right, very interesting one here's another one with some Chinese words Fu Jian Tong An reading from right to left Fu Lu Shou Xiao Nan, the names of the sons, the names of the daughters, all listed here. This tomb here is already broken. The tombstone has disappeared. The grass has gone. The bricks are broken. And on top, I could see some broken bottles, glass bottles, plastic bottles. So it becomes a dumping ground. I do not know what happened to the tombstone. I made my exit. I'm on track 14, walking towards the old Cha Chu Kang Road. So there's a notice here that says. Caution, you are within a closed cemetery, enter at your own risk. Hazards include trees, branches which may fall, slippery ground, bees, insects, snakes and so on. So you have to be careful because there may be snakes, a lot of mosquitoes here definitely. The NEA is not responsible for any personal injury, sustained or damage to vehicles within the closed cemetery. So you come here at your own risk, visit at your own risk. I could see a lot of blue kingfishers. Very beautiful place. Some fruit trees here. 
You can see the fruits. Very nice fruits here. This tree has very beautiful fruits. An abandoned bicycle here. The creepers have grown over the bicycle. It's a more bike and some discarded barrels next to the cemetery. So I'm here to KCE Investment Target Limited. Beside a canal, on my right is the highway, on my left is the old Chachukan Road. So, this is a very long canal, I can see a lot of birds flying around. And over there, the orchid garden. On the hill, there's an orchid garden. This is the Plecotia Inanis, a tall tree with green berries which later when ripen will turn red. So I'm still on the old Chochukang Road. On my left is the Orchid Garden, on my right is the highway that runs from Chochukang all the way to Jalan Maha. So this is a quiet place because on Sunday there are not many cars around here. that says on my right is a KJE and if I go to a traffic light and I turn right I'll come to Brickland Road Bukit Batok Road if I go left I come to Sungai Tengah Road right up to the end of Sungai Tengah Road I'm near to Brickland Road you can see the birds flying over the canal over here Jalan Lam San right, Jalan Lam San is just off Big Land Road Here I come across a tree with beautiful flowers Very beautiful flowers And on my right you can see a bus and lorry park A very big car park for lorries and buses And on my left is the thick forest, very dense forest. This is Jalan Lamsan. I'm walking along the side of Jalan Lamsan. On my left is the lorry and bus park. Right in front of me, I could see some tall blocks of HDB flats. That is the Chachukang HDB estate. I come next. Along Brickland Road, uh, 
Buddhist temple, you can see the statues of Buddha, the reclining Buddha. You can see the reclining Buddha. Some German words which I cannot read and cannot pronounce. There's a mango tree bearing a lot of flowers. So that is the Buddhist temple along Big Man Road. It took me one hour to walk from Old Chochukang Road to Brickland Road. I'm now near the forest. And there's a very big canal over here running right through the forest. Right, so on both sides of the canal you can see thick forest. To the right, to the left, all forest. And you can see a lot of African tulip trees. The girls bring kids to the Lindin tree. The girls bring fruit, very interesting. This fruit that the Lindin can use to cook curries. This tree is very interesting. You can see a lot of fruits, green fruits. This is the Evera Bilindi. Evera Bilindi. Great flowers, very beautiful leaves, and very nice fruits. Along this road, Big Land Road, I could see at least 10 such trees. This is a bus stop at Big Land Road, as this bus stop is seldom used. You can see that the creepers have grown right up to the area below the seats and here's the protected area that nobody is allowed to enter Today I had a very long walk, almost 2 hours I started from Old Chochukang Road, Chennai Tengah Road, Brick Lane Road and I'm now at Bukit Bato Road 